and welcome to my channel. My name is Paige. If you've never seen my face before, then please consider subscribing before you leave. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. So today we're talking all about one of my biggest purchases here lately, and that is this guy right here. I have never in my life owned an Apple Watch. I am a total newbie to this. I've only owned a Fitbit, so I'm going to give you my honest review of this. going to share some apps and some accessories and things that I've been loving here lately to go along with the Apple Watch. So maybe if you've been on the fence about purchasing one or you already own one and you're interested in seeing the accessories and stuff that I use, then let's go ahead and jump on into this video. I knew about three months ago that I wanted to make the switch from Fitbit to Apple and it was mainly for business purposes because most of the time during the day I get so distracted by my cell phone and I know I'm not the only one but a lot of times I'm trying to get some work done but I'm also trying to make sure that I'm keeping up with email or if I'm getting any kind of emergency text or something that I might need it's best that I don't get on my phone because somehow I end up in social media land. I'm in a black hole. Then I'm on Pinterest. I'm into all these things. So it's best that I keep my phone away from me during the day, but I still want to be connected in some way, shape, or form. And my Fitbit, I was getting call alerts and also text message alerts, but I could not respond. And that was kind of important to me. And I didn't get emails on my Fitbit either. So I knew that would be the biggest transition for me. This has made my life super easy when it comes to my emails and texts and phone calls. I did get the cellular version and because I knew that I wanted one, like I said, three months ago, I knew that September was coming and if they were gonna be releasing a new one, I would rather have the new one than the old one because if you're gonna go big, you might as well go all the way. So I went ahead and got the Apple Watch Series 4. This is the gold version, and I guess you would call it the rose gold. I do know that the more expensive stainless steel one was more of a true gold, which was really, really beautiful, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't wrap my head around paying the price tag for the fancier stainless steel one. There are a couple differences between the Series 4, the Series 3, and so on and so forth. Um, I did do research before I purchased, just like I do with any purchase whether it's big or small I always do research and I thought this one was just gonna be the best this one is the 40 millimeter it's not the 44 I did try the 44 on my wrist though and I think that it would still be in a good size but I just so happened to order the 40 the bands that I decided to go with were the silicone bands and I do like this color and I just mainly use this band for the gym it's not my favorite band if I'm being totally honest this definitely wasn't my favorite but this is what came with it something that was really cool though they did offer two different size bands within the packaging so when you open it up you have the small medium and you also have the medium large but I have a smaller wrist so I tend to go with the small medium but I did order a couple bands from Amazon and I've done the work for you guys I did order some previously before this order and I returned them because I wasn't a fan of them one was a style like this but it was black and like I said I'm not a, a big fan of this style so I definitely returned it and then the other one was this I think Apple calls it melon Melanie's, Melanie's kind of band and it is more of a in my words I say it's my fancy band um, it's definitely more of a metal finish to it so I wanted to find one that was the exact color of the series 4 gold and the one that I ordered initially was not was not at all the right color even though it said it was online it wasn't so I returned that one and I placed the order fingers crossed that this one would be right and it is perfect I've shared these on Instagram if you're not following me you definitely should but this one matches perfect it's super comfy I haven't had any issues with it it does have a magnetic closure and that's why I really love these two bands that I ordered from Amazon they're just easier to get on and off of your wrist whereas the silicone band was just a little bit aggravating trying to do with one hand and hook it this band that I'm wearing right now is very comfortable it does have a velcro closure it has five little velcro closure things and i want to say this is more of like a nylon band i will have everything linked down below if you're interested this color is also perfect and the little pieces that attach into your apple watch are pretty much identical to the color of the watch itself which just makes my little heart so happy i am on the hunt for some 
fancier bands, things that when I like dress up a little bit more, it doesn't look like I have on like a sports watch. I want something a little bit fancier. So I've been looking into the big chunky chain band. I think those are really pretty. I'm just trying to find the perfect color to match this new gold that they put out. It's making me a little hard because it's so new. Not a lot of companies have put one out just yet. So we all know that when you buy an Apple device, it has very, very nice packaging and they definitely did it up with the watch boxes. Like I said, this was my very first one I'd ever gotten, so I was kind of interested in seeing how they were going to do the packaging. I'm a packaging girl. I love branding. I just love how all of Apple's stuff is just so modern and streamlined, so their packaging does the same thing. I know that might be a little weird, and some of y'all probably don't even pay attention to that, but I love that. So I did want to make sure that I showed you guys the whole process of me opening it when I first got it so you can see how it was all set up in the box. So included with that watch, if you do get the silicone band, like I said, you'll get the two different sizes. You'll also get your charging cord and something that's really neat, a new accessory that I purchased is a stand. So you can put this on your nightstand next to your bed or maybe on your office desk and you can just hook your Apple Watch charger into it. And you can also charge your phone on the same stand. So it's kind of a two for one deal. I know a lot of these, you can actually charge your iPads or anything else like that that maybe uses a USB plug. There's so many different ones. I've purchased a few and ended up returning them. So once again, like I said, I've done the research for you. And down below, I went ahead and linked the ones that I love. I got one for my husband who doesn't have an Apple Watch. He has a totally different watch, but this stand also works for his watch as well. We kind of had to doctor it up a little bit to make it work because he wanted one after he's seen my stand. If you have a different watch that's not an Apple watch, you might still be able to use one of these stands for your phone and for your watch. You just kind of got to figure it out. I'm all about customization. <laughs> and one of the things that I absolutely love about the Apple watch is the fact that you can totally customize the faces of the watch. And something else that's even cooler along those lines is the fact that you can switch in between different faces. So you can customize a couple different ones and then you can switch back and forth in between them so maybe I want my Minnie Mouse face on there for like a part of the day and then the rest of the day I want more of my productivity customized face on there and I can switch back to that or maybe I want just like my fitness face if I'm going to the gym I can switch in between them which is totally neat to me. And not only that, but you can customize them even more. For instance, with my little Minnie Mouse face, which I'm super excited about using while I'm in Disney World in December, you can customize her outfit to make it any color that you want it, which all of my stuff, I use one of the pink shades because my watch is pink and I just love pink. So I make everything match and it's just so cute. Something that I recently learned this weekend is that Minnie Mouse will tell you what time it is. Are you ready? It's 324. Good afternoon. If you didn't know anything about me, I love Minnie Mouse. So when I found that was on there, I have not stopped letting her tell me what time it is. Even if I know what time it is, I just like to hear her tell me what time it is. Now let's talk about apps. One thing that I didn't think that I would really utilize as much, the Fitbit did have something similar, and this is an app for breathing. So it automatically comes on your Apple Watch, and it's actually really helpful. It gives you these little vibrating signals to let you know when to inhale, when to exhale, and it gives you different time options. So maybe you wanna do a little breathing exercise for a minute, maybe you got 10 minutes. It just gives you different options. So I'll do a minute, especially if I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed. I have a lot on my plate that day, I'll just go to a little breathing app and I'll do a little session for a minute just to catch my breath and I'm telling you it does work it kind of seems like it wouldn't maybe like it's just something to put on there but it honestly does work I use the Bible app on here each and every day it will give you the verse of the day a lot of these you have to sync it initially with your phone and once you do that everything is pretty much laid out for you on the Apple watch so today's verse is Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I adorned thee a prophet unto the nations. Something else that's really cool that I was kind of playing around with, and I didn't even know if it would work or not, I'm always losing my phone. This past weekend, I probably lost my phone six times. We were at my parents' house, and because I have my watch right here and I'm getting everything on it, I tend to not keep my phone on me as much, so I kept losing it. 
So all I had to do was ask Siri where my phone was. So let's ask her where my phone is. Hey Siri, where's my phone? It's nearby. Pinging pages I phone. And it will ping until I finally find where it is. So that's coming handy a whole lot. And I haven't even had this watch for that long. And I'm not even going to say how many times I've utilized that feature. Another few apps that I've been utilizing, of course, Starbucks. <laughs> I do go to Starbucks. I do go to McDonald's. I do go to Dunkin'. I don't have like a preferred place to go, but... I do go to Starbucks quite often and there is an app on your Apple Watch for that. Like I said, I use the Mailbox app all the time. My emails are super important to me and I like to make sure that I'm keeping up with them all throughout the day so that I'm not swamped at the end of the day because I don't check them throughout the weekend. I try to just check them during the weekdays. So that really makes sure that I'm staying on top of my game with that. I use a couple different period tracking apps and if you're a guy and you're watching this, I'm sorry but... It's a way of life and you might as well get over it at this point. You can also use those on the watch as well. It will let you know all of your little tracking days, if you're tracking different things, if you need to know when your period's starting, when your fertile window, your ovulation, all of that. It'll let you know on your watch. So you don't even have to use the app on your phone. Everything is right there, easy for you to find. Also something else that's really helpful is any kind of map app on your Apple Watch, especially if you're in a new city. Maybe you don't want to like a tourist walking around with your phone trying to follow the map and figure out exactly where you're going. This makes it look a little bit more inconspicuous so you're not exactly like hearing somebody talking through the phone saying turn right or turn left. Make a U-turn when possible. So if you're walking through a big busy street, I feel like you'll be able to navigate a little bit better on your watch. Of course, there's Apple Pay on here as well. So any place that offers you that convenience of paying with Apple Pay, you can just set it up on your watch and you can pay with your watch. Really, Apple doesn't have like a partnership with Spotify which makes me really sad and a part of me is kind of debating switching from Spotify to Apple Music because all of my stuff is Apple. I mean everything that I own pretty much is Apple but I am a Spotify customer. If you started listening to Spotify on your phone it will automatically sync with your watch. It just has to be within a distance and you can change the songs but you won't be able to go in between playlists and change it like that. There's not a Spotify app on here but you can definitely do that with Apple Music. They do cost the same amount every month um, but I just always use Spotify and I have all of those playlists already made so I kind of don't know if I want to switch or not. If you've used both and you can kind of help me make the decision, leave me a comment down below. Should I stick with Spotify or should I switch to Apple Music? Let your girl know. So what are my overall thoughts about the watch? Is it expensive? Yes, it's absolutely expensive. And you're also going to have to pay an additional $10 fee every month if you choose to go with the cellular option. So if you want to answer texts and you want to answer phone calls from your watch, you have to pay those $10 a month with your current cellular plan that you have. I am going to get my money's worth out of it. I wear it every single day. The battery is about a day and a half-ish. I do typically take it off at night and charge it. Um, sometimes I wear it in the night and then I'll charge it while I'm sitting at my desk. It just really depends. But for the most part, it's definitely come in handy over the past few weeks. I've gotten a lot of use out of it. The text message feature, the email feature, having my emails come right to my wrist and being able to answer phone calls right here without having to hold my phone in my hand while I'm getting stuff done around the house has been very helpful. So I hope I answered any of your questions that you may have had. Make sure to leave any questions down below in the comments if I didn't answer anything. And all of the accessories that I talked about in this video will be linked down below in the description box. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day, y'all. Bye.